What's up, Speaker Files? Wellington here, and welcome to another sound battle where we let speakers speak for themselves. In the battlefield, today we have the JBL Party Box on the go versus the JBL Party Box 100. In general, I have a few things, a few words to say about on the go, but we'll talk about that stuff on the other side of the sound samples. Also, if you like what you see right here, a shameless plug, go check out my merch store. I have quite a few new designs over there that a lot of you are going to love. Link in the description down. Now, this is a very comfortable shirt, by the way. Go check it out. Um, also, as a reminder, both these speakers have kind of like three different sound modes. They have the regular mode where you don't have bass boost on. When you press the bass boost button once, that's a lot of Bs, you get the first bass boost. That's the first or the second mode. And when you press the bass boost button again, you get bass boost two, which means regular bass boost one and bass boost two on both speakers. During the sound sample, I will give us the first two songs playing in uh, the regular sound mode. And then for the rest of the songs, for the sound sample, I will turn them into the best boost one mode for the rest of the song. Yeah, so we have, you know, different sound modes to hear the speakers compete against each other. Also, these are the specs of the speakers if you want to know what the differences are as far as the spec sheet. You can always pause it if you want to read up on it. As usual, I will be using a high quality binaural microphone during the sound samples. So for the best experience, please make sure you are using headphones. With that said, let us hear the speakers speak.
have it. Let us unpack what we heard. Also, I wanted to include an outdoor sound sample, most especially at maximum volume, but it was just a little too windy outside today. I just I just couldn't do it. Um, I might, I, I think I would just bring you guys um, an outdoor sound comparison because I feel like what we heard indoors here might change quite a bit if we are outside right in the open. So I think I will bring back a sound sample or sound comparison or sound battle with the speakers outdoors. But I just couldn't get a sound sample today just because it was just too windy. Uh, anyways, where do we start? Maybe loudness. If you're looking for the loudest of the two, no surprise here, the Party Box 100 is louder than the JBL Party Box on the go. And you can also feel the difference between the 100 watts that the on the go is rated for as opposed to the 160 watts that the Party Box 100 is rated for. What I'm trying to say here is that the Party Box 100 is louder and sounds more powerful than the JBL Party Box on the go. The highs on both speakers are mostly good, but I still think the Party Box 100 is a little more detailed. The only thing that I wish they had done with the Party Box 100 when it comes to tweeters is instead of putting them so close to each other here like this, I feel like they should have separated them and put one up here and one down here, just like they did with the party box on the go right here. And I know if you use a speaker in the standing mode, they will still be onto one side, but if you happen to use them, to use the speaker laying sideways like I was in the sound samples, at least it makes a lot more sense with them being further apart from each other like that. I feel like it would make a lot of sense having them that way as opposed to them just standing, uh, being so close to each other like that. And I know um, LG and I think Sony have also had three treaters in their speakers. Um, in that way, it detects the orientation of the speaker to the point where if it's standing up like this, the two that are up here would play, and if you lay it sideways, the two that would be up, so that would be this and this, would play, and this one out down here would not play. So it ch changes by the orientation. I think that would have been really good for the Party Box 100, but again, it's still kind of sounds a little bit better when it comes to highs in comparison to the party box on the go. It's not like the best highs. That's, that's not what I mean. I feel like in most cases they are about the same, but in some songs, I feel like I like the highs out of the party box 100 better than what comes out of the party box on the go. A lot of party box words in this video. When it comes to the mids, I still think the party box 100 is doing better. If you listen to the sound samples, the vocals come out clear on the party box 100 as opposed to those of the party box on the go. How about best performance? Is this where the party box on the go is doing a lot better than the Party Box 100? Nope. Now, this was not a surprise to me just because, I mean, this is running two 133 millimeter main woofers and this one is running one of the drivers. So, still running one 133 millimeter driver, but that's just one as opposed to the two same driver, so I wasn't expecting the party box on the go to do a lot better when it comes to best performance or anything else, honestly. But what surprised me is how good it's able to keep up with the base of the party box 100. Like I said, this is just slightly better when it comes to best performance. It is better, but slightly better. The best that is coming out of the party box one, I mean the party box on the go is still pretty good. 
I kind of feel like it might be a different story when we bring the speakers outdoor for an outdoor comparison. I feel like the Party Box 100 might shine a little bit more in comparison to the Party Box on the go outdoors in the open. Um, but we will find that out when we do that video. Okay, so would I recommend getting the Party Box on the go? No and I have my reasons. But before that, I would like to remind you if you like the video, please don't forget to like it. And if you haven't subscribed and so far you enjoying what I do here, again, like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm also on Instagram, so why not follow me over there? Um, anyways, the reason I wouldn't recommend anybody, well, let's start this a different way. There are specific cases where I think somebody might need the party box on the go. And that's mainly being you really like the strap that the speaker comes with and you really like the microphone that you are really going to be using that microphone is not going to be wasted. And the size of the speaker is exactly what you want it to be. Like you don't have any give, that's the maximum you can take as far as the speaker size. Then yeah, the party box on the go would be perfect for you. But in any case, anybody else, if you're literally considering these two speakers, there is no no other reason to go with the Party Box on the go as opposed to the Party Box 100. First of all, the pricing is very good for what you're getting with the Party Box 100. Yes, it's a little bit bigger, but when it comes to weight, they are really, really close to each other. I think that's why they actually gave you a strap on the on the go because. Yes, it's smaller than the 100, but as far as weight, like just feeling them in your hand, the difference is not very big. So you might as well just go with the Party Box 100, which gives you a little bit more best, sounds a lot louder, and overall, I think it sounds better than the Party Box on the go. For the price that you're paying for the Party Box on the go, Yes, it's a little bit cheaper than the Party Box. Wait, for the price that you're paying for the Party Box 100, yes, it's a little bit cheaper than the Party Box on the go. But for the price that you are paying for this, even if we're not comparing it to the Party Box on the go, it's you're getting what's worth of your money. Like I was so surprised just for how much they are selling this speaker for the kind of sound that you get out of it. Like even if we're not comparing the two speakers, it's just a good bang for your buck. So if you don't mind the size of it, it's the better choice to go with between these two speakers or in general, most speakers that are in the size of this speaker. It's just JBL did good with that speaker and they priced it right. I agree with that statement very, very, very strongly here. I'm going to be comparing the Party Box on the go right here to the JBL Boom Box 2 probably coming up very, very soon. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss this video. Also, if you haven't already seen it on the channel, the Party Box 310 is very, very, very soon coming to the channel. It's actually here. I just haven't shot it. It's literally sitting right there. The box came in today. So if you want to see sound battles of that too, make sure you are subscribed. Okay. Also go check out my merch. It's really, really cool stuff. And it's the only way that you can support the channel in addition to watching my videos and liking. Also, again, follow me on Instagram. It helps out a lot. Uh, thank you guys for watching this one. I will see you in the next video. Links and everything, check that out in the description section down there. Like the video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.